One, two, three, Don Aaron McCann's here. Profile performance, personal training. Um, I'm not a big product pusher, don't do too many products, but the whole rave of the toe shoes. I'm gonna give my synopsis of the toe shoes. Why? Because I fell in to the toe shoe lifestyle. Now, the best part about this, it does exactly what it says it's going to do. And it does exactly what it's supposed to do. Now, being a personal trainer, being an athlete, um, you need balance. You need stability. If any structure is in balance or stable, it has a chance of falling, breaking, doing something negative. Thus, that's being said about your body. Same situation. So... With these shoes, it does exactly what it says. Now, okay, I was watching the, the I guess the, the briefing of when they dropped the shoe um, to the public, and they put in, you know, several athletes. Okay, my background, quick. Dr. Ernie McCants, professional athlete, played five years in the NFL, uh, jumped seven four in college, and that's high jump. I played basketball my whole life, uh, more of a highlight reel than a true basketball player. <laughs> so, you know, it was given different accolades of what different athletes did. Uh, my 40 unofficial was 438. Official was 441. Um, my vertical in college was 36 or 38, somewhere between there. Uh, so, when it comes down to, I guess, top athletes, considering I play professional sports, you can say I, I, I know what I'm talking about to an extent of what I know feels good on my body and like I say I'm not a product pusher but I got to tell you about these shoes um, it does exactly what it says it takes your balance I know with me I pronate so that means if I show you this way my foot slightly turns outside so that affects my hip which affects my hip flexor so in plenty of times all through high school the way I was taught to run and where I used to run I was, oh, my, oh, this hurts. Oh, I pulled my, I pulled my groin, I strained my groin. How many times have you heard that? It's because your foot is tilted like this when you're running or even when you're walking. So what you want to do is try to correct that. Now with these shoes, it takes that pressure. See, I used to walk from my heel across to my toe. That's the way I would walk. I would walk. All my shoes would be worn out right about there. So now with these, it takes that and moves it here. So now... If you know anything, it's like your thumb. Without your thumb, it's hard to do a lot of stuff. Without your big toe, you know, they made fun of Shaq a lot. Shaq, big toe. Oh, he's so big. It's, yeah, that makes it even worse. Without your big toe, you're nothing. You cannot be an athlete without that big toe. That big toe is the keystone. You move it, the bridge falls. Just that simple. So, that being said... It takes your balance and stability and puts it right on the strongest and biggest muscles in your feet. And that's what you want as an athlete. And you can feel, I can say within the first week, I can feel the, di the dynamics change in my, in, my, in my calves. So I knew it was working my feet. Um, and I wore them, I started sporadically. I wore them once. And, you know, I got the long, uh, I got the long middle toe. I got the, I got the talent. Okay, so that was kind of funny, but... Eventually, you know, it has the material that stretches, so that wasn't as bad. Um, then my pinky toe, you know, I'm used to wearing tight shoes. All my shoes I wore were tight. Um, it just felt, yeah, you want it to feel like you were a part of the ground. And that's what I think most athletes look for. They want to feel like the shoe is a part of them where they can just push off of it. That's why most athletes wear their shoes so tight. Um, at least especially grass athletes. Basketball, I feel, yeah, I can say probably the same thing where I used to wear my shoes. Um, and then, you know, like I said, the little pinky toe, he kind of fighting and he's nice and tight. So now what this is doing is actually spreading my foot. It's spreading my foot. So making everything else in my foot and my ankle much, that much stronger. Um, what else? Now, for the observations that I noticed, I've been wearing them for maybe uh, a month now. And now I'm wearing them consistently. I've been wearing them consistently every day for two weeks. Now, I haven't ran in them yet. Um, because it's 23 degrees outside. It's winter right now for me. Um, well, today's a beautiful day, but for the most part, it's winter for us uh, in the DMV, Virginia area. 
Um, if I don't know if he's going to have a time, but it's, it's January 30th, a Wednesday, uh, 2013. So, you know, I walked outside one time and it was cold and you can feel that sting. So this is definitely not a winter shoe, <laughs> but definitely a great shoe. Now, I've seen other people try to compare them to the, uh, I think the V rooms or the Vibe rooms. Now, this is not a trail shoe. It is a trainer. This is meant for the gym, for athletes. So people try to compare them, say which one of them they're better, but that's like comparing, um, you know, I would say almost apples and oranges to an extent because they serve different purposes. You know, that's like saying, well, I'm going to get a BMW and then say, okay, well, I got a truck and then try to compare them. Yeah, they're both vehicles, but at the same time, they both have two purposes. Okay, this purpose changes your balance, which is great, especially for any athlete. Um, I, I jumping rope, oh my gracious, you're going to feel your calf muscles burn. I'm um, working on balance and stability drills on the bolts through ball, you're going to feel it. Um, what else I've done in these? Like I said, I haven't ran, so I have, I'll have to come back when it warms up a little bit and I'll start running and see how I feel. But I did see some other videos of people talking about how they lost it, you know, they overcomplish, uh, overcome shin splints by, um, by Wendy's. So if you're a person with bad shin splints or always, you know, you lo love to run but always have shin splints, this one may be a shoe that you want to try. Now, like I say, I'm not a big product pusher, but, you know, it's it's new. And then the other side, just just maybe personal preference, these look better. <laughs> just the reality. And if this shoe looks big, it's because I wear a size 13. It looks big on TV, on the screen. So, but I wear a size 13. But, um... It looks cool. I had some young folks. And I'm not saying I'm old, but I had some young folks who was like, oh, you know, those look better than the other ones. Um, it's just a matter of design, personal preference. I think these look a lot cooler. I was going to try the, the uh, Vibrams just to try to really compare them, but I'm not sure. I've talked to a couple other guys uh, who are trainers at the gym, and they can't stand around them. And, you know, you got to do different things in the shoe, um, you know, to show and demonstrate for your clients. And uh, they said they can't do it, but they'll work out of them. So that's, you know, a positive for the V-Room. But for these, I've been wearing these all day, every day, um, for the last two weeks. Um, only, like I say, the negatives, I don't mean to end on a negative note, but now I'm a jumper. So I'm always doing plyometrics. Um, lunging. Adidas, Adidas. If y'all paying attention, if you could, just just give me a little bit more lip on that toe because when I, what happens is with this is when I roll over it's starting to wear down a little bit as far as my lunges and my lunge hops and my split leg lunges and my scissor kick lunges and all that stuff um, you hit the tip of your toe and you know the toenail you hit your fingernail it's not the most pleasant so if anything only two downsides for me being you know a still active guy and of course I, I work out with my clients um, my athletes so I can stay in shape as well. At least I look halfway decent. Is uh just, just, just a little lip. It's not that bad, but for ninety percent of your workout, ninety five percent of your workout, you should be fine. Um, great for definitely squats. Uh, hopefully you have good squat form. Um, and then just maybe the heel. Heel is kind of kind of wide, and sometimes it it stays on your foot, but kind of you feel a little air. Just a little air we get between, you know, you and the shoe as you jump up and down. And that's mainly through plyometrics. If you're not doing plyometrics, it's not a big deal. You'll, you'll love the shoe. It's a great shoe. But that is my um, synopsis on the Adi Curve. So check it out. You know what I mean? Um, it's going to take some while to get used to. Like I say, most people, you know, pinky toe is generally probably going to be an issue. And for those who got that long talon second toe like myself, that may be a little issue, but after a while, the shoe works itself out, flexes, you get kind of used to it. And um, like I say, with the material, you know, yeah, I don't know if you can see that, but you can see my finger kind of point through. So it gives you that, that space to for that extra hoof. <laughs> but I'm down there in McCants, man. Um, check the shoes out. You know, at least just check out his review. Um, it's pretty good. Adidas.